Hey there, welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. In this segment, I'm gonna talk with you about the elements of a desktop environment. Mainly, I'm gonna focus on window managers and display managers. I'll show you what some of the differences are. Now let's take a look. A desktop environment is a complete host of bundled software that enables a computer to display a graphical interface. This suite includes a window manager and a display manager. There are many desktop environments to choose from. They all have different options, themes, behaviors, and styles. Here are a few. LXDE. LXQT, MOT, XFCE, KDE, GNOME, Enlightenment, and there are many others. A display manager or login manager is usually initiated at the end of a boot process. It provides a screen for someone to choose the window manager and provide login credentials to gain access to the desktop. As with desktop environments, there are many display managers as well. The window manager is software that controls the placement of windows on the screen in the windowing system. There are different types, tiling, stacking, and dynamic. Stacking, also referred to as floating. This is a type of window manager similar to the traditional style in which active program windows behave as pieces of paper on a desk, overlapping and movable. Tiling window managers arrange program windows in a mosaic layout within defined parameters and make use of hotkeys to select the active window or arrange the windows. Dynamic, these are window managers that can switch between stacking or tiling behavior. Now I'm gonna show you some different examples of display managers. Currently, we're on the Virtual Console 1, TTY1, so I'll log in. All right, so now we're logged in, and I'm gonna start, um, well, let's start with my personal favorite, LXDM, the LightX Desktop Manager. I like it because it's lightweight and it's fast. As long as it works and it's fast, I'm more than satisfied with it. S-U-D-O-S-Y-S-T-E-M-C-T-L, start, LXDM.Service. Here in the Display Manager, we can select the profile we want to log in as, and we can select the environment that we want to log in once we select, choose our profile. So this is LXDM. I'm gonna turn it off and we'll switch into a different um, this desktop environment. So sudo system control stop stop LXDM.service. I actually could e omit the dot .service, but I just like to type that out for the sake of typing. Okay, now that I have the LXDM Display Manager stopped, I will turn on another one. How about I go to GDM, which is the GNOME Display Manager. So to do that, I sudo, sudo system control, start GDM. And you'll notice that uh, GDM is a little bit, little bit slower. It's actually a lot slower, mostly because um, it has quite a bit more overhead. There we go. So when I started uh, uh, LXDM, it was just almost instant where GDM took some time. I consider GDM to be a bit of a resource hog, so that's kind of why I don't, I don't use it. But still you have the same kind of thing here. Choose your, your profile you want it to log in and then select the uh, desktop session. Um, you have a few other options here. Well, accessibility options here, it's got the time. And again, same as with LXDE, there's a configuration file where you can go in and you can edit how everything looks here. So I'm gonna turn this one off and turn on, uh, let's uh, try LightDM. All right, here's our Light Desktop Manager. This one's pretty lightweight, it's pretty quick. This one has a drop down menu to select the uh, account to log into. You can select other, you can just put a name there. There's your password. Um, let's see here, how do we choose the desktop environment? Oh, right here. This one looks pretty simple. It looks like one that I might would use. I like simple, easy applications that don't use a lot of resources. So I've shown you a few different desktop managers to choose from, also known as login managers. Now let's move on to different window managers. So this is a known classic desktop. I personally don't prefer it. It's uh, stacking, which is fine. That's, I'm, I'm okay with that, but it seems to be a little heavy on its resource usage. It looks nice, it looks beautiful, but it's just a little, little too much overhead for me. But some people, you know, they really like this type of this, this desktop setup. But for me, not so much. I can see, I can truly not tell you anything about it because I don't use it. So um, I'm just gonna log out. So this is Plasma, the newest incarnation of KDE, which is the cool desktop environment, which is actually what really got me started in um, the Linux verse because when this first started, it was a lot simpler and I liked this desktop and it was easy for me to understand, but I don't use it anymore, I don't use KDE, but I use some KDE applications. So I'm just gonna log out and uh, move on to another example. Did we look at Mate? Let's take a look at Mate. I think Mate might be another derivative of um, GNOME. Now this is really nice, I actually like this. So this is reminiscent of the old GNOME that I uh, used to uh, be familiar with. Let's see if when I open up a 
file. Yeah, look at that, an actual file browser. If, if you're gonna get into Linux and you're looking at desktop environments and you want something kind of slick and cool, I would suggest Mate. That definitely has my endorsement. However, I still prefer LXDE, even though I like this one. Um, I could actually see myself uh, doing stuff on this. In this segment, I've provided you with some context as to what desktop managers are, display managers, and window managers are. And I've shown you some examples. I'll see you next time.